ever pondered over the age-old taboo around eating with your left hand? It might seem like an arbitrary rule to some, but it carries a rich history, steeped in cultural and historical significance. In many parts of the world, particularly in the Middle East, Africa and India, the left hand has traditionally been associated with unclean tasks, such as personal hygiene. This cultural norm roots back to times when people didn't have access to modern sanitary facilities. The right hand was therefore reserved for cleaner tasks, like eating and greeting people, to prevent the spread of germs. This practice has been passed down generations and continues to be observed in many communities today. In addition to hygiene reasons, there are also religious beliefs that play a part. In Islamic culture, the Prophet Muhammad is said to have preferred using his right hand for tasks like eating, drinking, and giving or receiving items. This has influenced millions of Muslims around the world to do the same. Similarly, in Hinduism, the left hand is often considered impure, and it's deemed disrespectful to offer food or gifts with the left hand. In Western cultures, though, this bias doesn't hold as much sway. The use of cutlery has influenced eating habits, leading to a more ambidextrous approach. However, even in these cultures, the right-hand dominance is prevalent, largely due to a majority of the population being right-handed. But it's important to remember these customs are not universal. Many cultures around the world do not follow this rule and are completely comfortable with using either hand for eating. In conclusion, the belief that it's bad to eat with your left hand is not just a random superstition. It's a practice that has evolved over time, influenced by factors such as hygiene, religion, and societal norms. It's a fascinating glimpse into how human behaviors are shaped by their cultural and historical contexts. So next time you sit down for a meal, remember the hand you choose to eat with holds more significance than you might think. It's not just about manners or personal preference, it's a reflection of centuries-old traditions and beliefs.